All right, so I don't exactly have a normal job. So if you don't have a normal job, this content here is for you. Or if you do have a normal nine to five job, but you're looking for something a little bit different, this content's for you too. We're gonna go into this here Goodwill right here. And we are gonna buy stuff to resell for a profit online. I'm gonna list all this stuff on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, and Grailed. This is what I do for a living. It's strange, but I love it. We're gonna have some fun. Let's go. Rock into the men's shirt sections where to go long sleeve first and work from there. Let's go. If you're joining for the first time, this will be the 10th live thrift video that I'll be putting up on YouTube. This will be on YouTube tomorrow. So if you can't hang out for the whole thing, I'll take you for whatever I can get. But we're live streaming now on TikTok and this will later be on YouTube. So I think we got an early hit. I might pick this one up. This brand is so-so for me. But we're gonna look beyond the brand as always. So we got a Mark Echo here, cut and sew. I actually just sold one of these the other day. Size 2XL, button down shirt. Nothing too, too unique about it, but I am gonna pick this one up because it does have that bigger size, which tends to sell better. It does have the flip cuff, which will help a little bit too. Kind of like a satiny flip cuff. And uh, kind of like a little satiny, I don't know what you call that, like contrast something on the button up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in. The last one I sold the other day, uh, pretty similar shirt size, 2XL cut and sew, sold for $24 plus shipping. So that's a good start. A sign of things to come perhaps. Last time I was here, I think we took 23 things home with us to sell online. We've already sold a good amount of those. My record at this particular store is 29, I think is the standing record. So the shirt fell off. There was like no hanger for that shirt, so let's put it aside for now. Starting the fifth pretty good. I love a quick, quick start like that. Appreciate everybody being here. We have 80, what do we got? 91 people in the house on TikTok right now. So Orvis here, I pick up a lot of Orvis. Here's some long sleeve polos. This is a decent pickup. It's borderline, but as you can see, the collar there has like all that wear. And this one has like wear. Ooh, that one's pretty rough. So I'm gonna pass on both of those. Condition obviously is an important thing too. Those are borderline pickups anyway. So with that condition, that's gonna push it below the borderline for me. Looking for items that are generally gonna sell for uh, on the very low end, $20 plus shipping online. Polo Golf, I think I've passed on this shirt before on another live. If it has the, the pony, I sometimes pick it up. Pony in a big size I'll pick up, but no pony in a size large, I'm gonna pass on that one. Gonna try to educate and teach as much as I can during this. So this is a great friendly live or friendly recording here on YouTube for people who are just getting started or thinking about getting started. Maybe thinking of getting rid of that nine to five been doing this for over four years now it's been over a little over two years since i last had a jobby job thanks for sharing the live team is appreciate the follow user 3179 a lot of ogs in the house great place to ask questions particularly because we have a ton of resellers in the chat today too as we usually do appreciate everybody being here oh thank you pug for that compliment Thank you, Nick, for sharing the live. That's a nice compliment. This did replace my nine to five. I left my nine to five December of 2020. I had a great job, enjoyed it, but I found myself enjoying what I was doing, my side hustle that I had been doing for two and a half years. I loved, I found myself waking up early and excited to do that and a little bit less excited to do the day job. So I found myself in a financial position where I was able to make the change. We prepared for it for a long time, my wife and I, and made the change and here we are. All right, here's a brand. If you follow me, you know I pick up a lot. Wrangler, I like the pearl snaps. It's an okay size and size large, but this is a f pearl snaps here with the flannel. Uh, that'll be a low 20s seller right there. Nice classic pattern. Well, there's a couple in my cart right there. 
Mark Echo cut and sew to answer that question, Corgi. I got a Mark Echo cut and sew in the in the basket, and then our Wrangler Pearl Snap. Those are brands that you'll find at any thrift store across the country, usually for good prices. All the shirts were paying $4.99 here. I'll show you the stickers here. So here's our pricing. So Jack and some blazers will be $6.99. Camisas will be $4.99. What else we got for prices here? Gloves, hats, scarves, ties, belts, buck a piece. And what else do we got? Uh, pants will be $4.99. I just don't see where the sign is for those. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at, the price landscape, it's flat rate pricing here at, at the Goodwills in my area. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to everybody on TikTok. And if you're watching this recording tomorrow over on YouTube, welcome to y'all too. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd love to have you over there. It is a new channel. I just started posting these videos just over a month ago. So here's a borderline pickup right here, maybe. We'll see. It's either gonna be a borderline pickup or a borderline pass. So it's a size 2XL Under Armour. Uh, nothing fancy here. This is a mediocre brand. Ooh, got fresh inventory coming out. Love it. Um, nothing fancy here, but that 2X, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. This is the time of year where people wear these like lightweight uh, polyester quarter zips. That's probably an 18 to $22 piece plus shipping on that. Nothing fancy, but pays the bills. Rancher by Wrangler is the fashion forward line. There you go from Risner. When Risner speaks, we listen. Got 158 people in the house. Appreciate you being here on TikTok. Big Apple Picker is in the house. The BAP. All these items will be listed on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and Depop. Not a great brand, but great town. Here's an Orvis piece right here. It feels like that might be... Do we have some wool going on? We do. 100% wool Orvis piece. So this is going in the cart. Gosh, it's like 10% dog hair, though. Oh, I might regret this. But good seller right here. I'm going to throw comps on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube on the recording. But 100% wool is something to look for in Orvis. There's the logo right there. The size is 2X. There it is. 100% wool. Let's go. I agree with that statement about the dog hair hack T. Appreciate you being here. Fast Nano, appreciate the follow. Welcome aboard. Good to have you. You'll get a notification whenever I go live here on TikTok. I do live thrifts usually once a week. And every weekday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, I ship out sales and I do all that live. So the packing and shipping scares a lot of people away from this business. But I'll show you how we do it. It's easier than you think. And that's every weekday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. So if you want to get that notification, go ahead and give me a follow just like Dylan just did. Thank you, Dylan, for the follow. Good to have you on board. And the follows are rolling in. Appreciate you, Carolina, Mama Sticky. TikTok to Madness. Now, that is, that is a good screen name. Consider following, uh, giving me a subscription over on YouTube. This whole video will be posted. So those of you who are like working right now, you're busy, you're distracted, um, you'll be able to watch this whole video over on YouTube. I'll put this up tomorrow morning. I'd love to have you subscribed over there too for the long videos. You already got a couple things in the cart, so off to a decent start. Our first rack got us uh, one, two, three, four items in the cart on the first rack. So pretty hot start. The record for me at this store is 29 items, so one rack, and we have a lot of racks to go through. Look at all this. we got so much stuff to do. There's not many people in here today. It's quieter than usual. It's super cold out, by the way. My car thermometer said 36 degrees, and it's like windy as all get out. And like a brilliant person, I did not wear a jacket. <laughs> 
Thank goodness for heated seats in the car. Thank you, Erilyn. Good to see you, Erilyn. Thanks for reminding those on TikTok to tap up that screen. I'll be right back. That just tells TikTok that you're having a pretty good time and invites tick, uh, encourages TikTok to invite more people into the conversation. This is, it's the most wonderful time for a beer. Life is good. I don't pick up a ton from this brand. I do from time to time. Unfortunately, they have this priced like a button down shirt, which will be $4.99. The t-shirts are cheaper, but it has to say T on the tag, unfortunately, to count as a t-shirt. Here's a size large. I don't know, what do you think? It's not in great condition. It's also not in terrible condition. It's kind of, call it somewhere in between. What do y'all think of that? I think I'm gonna pick that up. That's a great shirt, size large. It's a little pilly though, that's the thing. I don't know. It's just not in the best condition. It's a really cool shirt though. I'm gonna put it back. It's just uh, it's just a little rough. I don't know if that's coming through on the, the re on the video recording or not, but. I do sell some Life is Good. When I find them, I usually try to comp it based on whatever that the logo is on it or the the print. Some of them will end up selling even used around the twenty dollar plus shipping mark. So. Some of the more common ones you might have a hard time selling for that much. I pass on most of them. How y'all feeling about this rack? Is this rack gonna be good? See some epaulets on that shoulder right there, but that's nothing. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Tiffany. Welcome aboard. Up to 374 people watching on TikTok. Sounds like a lot of people were maybe fascinated by the idea of leaving that nine to five that they're sitting at. Build up a little side hustle, save some money for vacations, and maybe save up for a future of not going to work. Pick up some Brooks Brothers. I'm gonna pass on that one. It's really slowed down for me overall. So this particular store tends to be um, really busy, a lot of person traffic, and that's a good thing. I look for that in thrift stores because you want them to be turning over inventory and putting fresh inventory out a lot. They're also staffed well at the store, so they always have staff out on the floor like they do right now, putting fresh stuff out, which is always a good sign. Thank you, Dardar. Appreciate the follow. 66 Ocean is on board too. Y'all y'all will get notifications whenever I do these live thrifts. I do this about once a week. And I have nine of these now posted up on YouTube. So I'll put the full recording on YouTube of this tomorrow. But I already have nine others up there. This will be number 10. So give me a subscription over on YouTube. The link is up in the my profile, just click on my name, click through, you can see the link to my most recent YouTube video that just went up yesterday, actually. I love thrifting too, this beats sitting in an office. Just found a brand new Skims robe too with the tag, nice. Do you daily do thrift store runs? I do not. Most of the time as a reseller, you spend your time actually listing. This is the fun part, then you gotta measure, take photos ship, all that stuff. Here's an Eddie Bauer Travex. So I pass on 98% of Eddie Bauer. I do pick up some Travex. So see that little yellow logo right there? It says Travex next to it. Sometimes it'll say, Sterling Sims, thanks for the subscription over on YouTube. That just popped up on my notification. Uh, so appreciate having you over on YouTube. Um, so that's the Travex logo, that yellow thing to look for. Sometimes it says Travex, sometimes it doesn't, but that yellow logo will tip you off. Some of these are okay. That's like the better line of Eddie Bauer. I'm gonna pass on this one. It's just uh, not in great condition. Here's another Brooks Brothers. This one I might actually get. So what's different here is you can see that 100% linen. So there'll be a lower supply of these listed on eBay and Poshmark than the cotton ones. And that's what we're looking for, lower supply, less competition. And obviously linen is something that's in demand. People like linen, especially in the summertime. The shirt shows a little bit of wear, but at $4.99, nice little 
check pattern on it. We're gonna pick this one up. Looks like the zipper is broken on that eddy. Maybe. No, zipper seems fine on the on the bower, but we're gonna pass on that anyway. Regent is the slimmer cut, and I tend to do a little bit better with the Regents. So here's another one. This is cotton. Maybe donated by the same person because it's the same size, a very similar pattern. But the difference is that one's linen, this one's cotton. So the linen will sell faster and for a couple extra bucks. I'm actually going to pick up this cotton one uh, just because I like the pattern, this kind of gingham check pattern. I'm going to pick that one up. I pass on most Brooks Brothers. Bigger sizes do better. I pass on most of these Bucacci's too, and I'm going to pass on that one. Sometimes it just comes to subtle, down to subtle things like a pattern that you don't think you'll see as many listed for. Check the armpits. Thank you. Appreciate the, uh, the reminder. Tommy Bahama. So here's a Tommy Bahama quarter zip. This isn't in the best condition. It's a reversible one. I don't come across the reversibles too often. It's just not in the best condition. It's 80% cotton. 20% tensile ISO. Quarter zip. What size is it? Size large? I don't know. That might clean up. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the card. I'm going to think about that one. Must have better. Sorry to hear. Yeah, Goodwills are run regionally. So somebody could be in, I don't know, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and their Goodwills might be overpriced or poorly stocked, but they're all run regionally. So I'm in the, my region is the Goodwills of Northwest North Carolina. So they price, you know, their pricing and sales strategy is specific to this area. So your Goodwills in your area might be worse. Your Goodwills in your area might be better than mine too. Remember, Asheville's a smaller city here out in Western North Carolina. So there are definitely better places to thrift than here. We just don't have that many people and we don't have that high of a concentration of wealth. So when I'm thrifting, I need a lot of rich people and that helps you find better stuff. Goodwills in the nicer part of town are always a win for me. There you go, it's a good thing to work out for. There's a local uh, private school in the area, Montreat. It's an Adidas piece. I'm going to pass on this, but some local flavor there for you. Ooh, here we go. Let's go. One of my favorite brands, the Territory Ahead. Now, this is a three-quarter sleeve, which makes me think that it's possibly a women's. It's a chambray kind of weave to it, which is always nice. It's got the buttons where you can, like, button up the shirt. That's got to be women's, though size large it's a really it looks like a men's large in terms of size but the buttons are on the opposite side so this might actually be a that might be a woman's shirt territory head one of my favorite brands good one i'll uh, i'll show you a close-up of the tag it might be worth screenshotting that one right there good brand to look for It's a big shirt. Probably is a men's. Women's? Oh, it's hard to tell. Three quarter sleeves is, would be strange for a, for a men's, huh? Either way, I'm picking up that territory head. The men's do sell better, though. That one's unique enough, it'll do well on either. bunch of lands end right there
Thank you for the gifts, Blank. I appreciate that. Well, thanks, Erwin. Appreciate the compliment. All right, on to the next rack. Sorry, I typically go dark when someone's kind of like right in my shirt, so that was happening. So now I got no one in my shirt. We can talk again. Oh, what shirts? Oh my God, the floors. What kind of clothes are you in search of? Um, items that have a, a good re a good resale value and a high sell through rate. That's what I'm looking for. That's so many different brands. So that last rack, what do we get? Three items off that rack, last rack. I think we're up to seven right now. Not a bad start. The record is in sight for the store for me, 29. All it takes is one like hot rack to get us most of the way there. Is this the hot rack? By the way, on this rack, we're gonna get some uh, suits and blazers. Those are my uh, best profit per item items. So we got that coming right up here, suits and blazers. I usually save those to last because nobody picks them. So all the suits and blazers when I walk in a, a store, they'll be the same ones that'll be there in an hour because no one's going through them. But we're in the right aisle, so we'll go ahead and get them. So here's an LL Bean. I pass on most of these. Looks like there was a little wear on that collar. This is a really big size, though. I would consider it. If this was in, if this didn't have the ring around the collar, I'd pick it up at that big size, 1834. It's like a 2X. Uh, but just that ring around the collar, I'm going to pass on it. bigger sizes do better all right let's get some suits and blazers let's go Michelle thanks for the follow Wisconsin fan appreciate the follow and thanks for sharing the live nice compliment so last time at the store what did I, I think I ended up with three really nice blazers from this section so we'll see it's a very small suits and blazers section unfortunately here We'll see. I bet you there's a good one in here. This is an often overlooked section at the thrift store because everyone says nobody wears suits no more. Everyone just goes to tech jobs and they wear t-shirts or they work from home. But that ain't true. Plenty of people still work in finance. A lot of people who work in hotels, people forget you work in hotels, you oftentimes wear suits and blazers i sell a lot of suits and blazers that get shipped to vegas think of a lot of people who work in casinos and whatnot or if they're on vacation to vegas that's possible too adriano thanks for the follow mama thanks for the follow good to have you on board so here's a joseph a bank suit sometimes i'll pick up the suits but not the blazers this is like a cotton suit though I'm gonna pass on this one. It's just, it's cotton, it's plain. I'm sorry? Uh, I think they're over there. Sorry to go dark. I fellow was just like st st standing next to me, like uh, staring at me for a few minutes. I'm like, what the heck? 
And then he asked me where the blue jeans are, so. Uh, this is a good one. So here's a good brand, Polo Ralph Lauren. Usually find more ra um, Lauren Ralph Lauren or just plain Ralph Lauren. Don't find a ton of the Polo Ralph Laurens. Sold a few of them over the years, but there you go. It's an older tag too. And this is a seersucker. So this is a great summertime suit. It's a nice seller right there. I'll throw some comps up on the screen uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, but that's a, um, that's a nice pickup right there. A little seersucker. I didn't check the size, but whatever size it is, I'm gonna pick that one up. Claiborne Lux. This is actually like a nice Claiborne jacket with like a good wool pet, wool to it. That's Soria, but I'm not gonna pick that up. It's not a great brand. Looks like that was at the top of the brand for that. But we're still not gonna pick that. Definitely a nice summertime suit jacket. I agree with you, Arlen. Appreciate having you in here, Arlen. Always appreciate having you. All right, so we ended up getting one out of there, but there's really not that much. I mean, there's what, a total of like 25 or 30 jackets. So we're able to get one. I wish they had a bigger section for those here, but we control what we can control. Do some jeans. Let it go through and spin around. Welcome everybody. This again, this uh, yes. this will, yes. full recording will be up on YouTube tomorrow morning. So there we are. That's a '90s tag. That's what you'd call the uh, the parallel tag. Made in the USA Wrangler. What tipped me off is the, the W back there. I said, oh, those look like a, a pair of Sounds 90s Wranglers. I'm all for it. Okay. So they're going to want $4.99 for those. Okay. I just sold two <laughs> pairs of these to the same customer last week on eBay. I think I ended up getting maybe low 20s a piece, like maybe 22 or 23 a piece. Plus shipping to the same customer. Might have found them at this store too. That one's a more modern Wrangler, so we'll pass on that. Oh, pardon me. You trying to sneak by? No, I'm just Oh, okay. Here. <laughs> All right, we'll pivot down here. And we'll go back over there. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for a little over four years now. Here's a pair of Nike joggers. I'm going to pass on these. I can tell right away they're missing the drawstring, but there could be money in and finding these, ooh, and they're in really rough condition. But I do pick up Nike joggers if they're in good condition. Good money item there. Like bread and butter kind of flip. One of the best days to go to the thrift store. Me answering that question is gonna be different for, for every single store you get into. Um, it depends on their sale days. And every thrift store has different sale days. It depends on which days they happen to have the most staff or the most volunteers to help out. So possible for me to answer that about your thrift stores. This particular store is really well staffed and does a lot of business. It's a real high traffic store. It's in a high traffic shopping area. It's like down near where the mall is and a lot of the, a lot of the box stores. So it just gets a lot of traffic, which is good. And they're really well staffed, which has been a challenge in my area. A lot of the thrift stores are way understaffed so they can't get new inventory out onto the floor. They'll also have like big long lines at checkout, which turns off customers, which then slows down traffic. We want people to be coming in, buying stuff. So therefore there's more room on the racks for fresh stuff to come in. So I really like this store. They're always stocking. There's probably three or four employees as we speak right now that are stocking fresh inventory. So I can come in here any day of the week at any time of day and generally find some good stuff because there's always fresh stuff coming out. So right now I'm really just looking for jeans. I'm looking for corduroys. I'm looking for wool pants. Looking for hiking pants. There's some Wrangler ATCs. I actually like wearing these, but that's not my size. Not a ton of resale value, but I like those pants for hiking. I'll 
come back to get to that last little section on there. We'll go the other side. Gosh, I, I spoke too soon when I got here about it not being busy. There's, every time I turn, there's people now. All right, we're gonna go to another part of the store. I already cleared this aisle, so. Let's see, we haven't been through this aisle. We'll go here. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Appreciate y'all asking questions. Do my best to get back to as many of the questions I can. But there's, right now there's 480 people, so tough to get back to everybody. But if you watch this recording over on YouTube, I can get back to all the questions just because they don't come in so like crazy. Yeah, Webuys 501 are a good seller for me. I don't find them all that often. Going to Palm Springs and see what I can find. I bet you you'll find good stuff there. It's a big metro area and a high concentration of wealth. That is the recipe for great thrifting. I've kind of cooled off after a hot start here. But we're going to go to the women's jacket section in a minute. We're going to do a bunch of men's polo shirts here in a minute. Somehow hung that shirt back up with one hand. That is as a pro move. Have you found Rock Revivals? I have, but gosh, it's been a real, real long time. The secret's out on Rock Revivals. Now, here's a cool Brooks Brothers piece. I don't pick up all Brooks Brothers. But this one is going in the cart. A little cardigan piece buttoned down, 100% merino wool. Nice little pattern on that. Good size, size large. Let's go. Nice piece right there. Nice one. Maybe we can heat back up again. You sure? Just gotta sneak by ya. You uh, appreciate you. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. You come on. So with thrifting clothing, the emphasis is definitely on the brands. Uh, but then once we identify the brand, we go from there to determine if it's a pickup or not, but it all starts with the brand for sure. I don't know what that brand is. Egon, Pittsburgh. Doesn't really feel very quality. So then from the brand, you're also looking at the size, you're looking at the material, you're feeling the quality of the item. And obviously the um, the pattern makes a difference too, but it all starts with the brand when you're looking at clothes. You guys excited? You have for next year. Next find, I'm doing a boom too. Next find's getting a boom. All right, into the short sleeves now. Maybe get some golf polos, get us some Peter Moir, some foot joys. App State t shirt in the house. Look at that, Yosef the Mountaineer. I'm not going to pick that up to resell. I was thinking about that for me, but that's not going to fit. I'm an App State alum, proud App State alum. Go Nears. 
You can sell Wranglers. I have one in the cart that I'm going to sell for sure. I look for the pearl snaps in the Wranglers. Or just like really cool vintage pieces. Really unique stuff sells well too for Wrangler. Most fellows are having fun at the thrift store. Thanks for the follow, KMT. Welcome aboard. You'll get a notification whenever I go live. I do a live thrift once a week. I also do a daily, a weekday morning live from my office, shipping out daily sales. So if you want to see what's actually selling and see how much they're selling for and what my profits are, all that, I'm transparent about all those numbers and go through the whole shipping process too. So a lot of questions about shipping, a lot of fear about shipping. So try to take the mystery out of that. Slow start to the short sleeves. We got zero short sleeves or about third of the way through the rack. Let's heat up here. Let's heat up. Let's go. Appreciate the follows. Drizzy, Sean, Bag Holder, Carmi, Tim Lee, just pouring in with the, the follows. Appreciate those follows. I love live thrifts because you get to see, you never know what I'm going to find. And I never know what I got to find. We're going to find it at the same time. What is that logo? It's just one of those logos that makes you wonder. It's kind of got a nice feel to it. Does anyone know that logo? Any, uh, any pros in the house here? There's two of them back to back. They just feel nice. It feels like it might be wool. Let's check the materials. What is this brand? It is impossible to know all the brands. Every day I'm learning something. Usually chat's teaching me. Oh, I think I know this brand. I don't think it's anything. Silk cotton blend. 55 silk, 45 cotton. I don't think that's anything, but it feels pretty quality. It's that silk. I'm going to throw them in, take a look at them. I can't look up comps because y'all are on my screen, which is awesome. I'm glad y'all are here. Uh, I pick these up sometimes. Here's a Brooks Brothers. So we got a big size here, XL. It's 100% cotton. At least it feels that way. It's what we would call a performance polo. 100% Supima cotton. I'll pick this up. This will be uh, 18 to 22. These ones with the pattern sell a little bit better, so stripes are better than plain. Right behind it looks like there's a plain one, actually. So that's in the cart. You missed a pretty good toss there. This is like a terry cloth. This is a weird shirt. 80% cotton, 20 polyester, Brooks Brothers. It's like a it's like a terry. So we're always looking for things that, that lower our competition and like lower the supply. And a terry cloth material is... is super uncommon so there won't be many of these listed so you don't need super high demand when when supply is really low because you just need one person to come i'm only going to buy one of them right so i only need one person to come along and buy this there's probably not many listed terry cloth i'm going to pick this up i've never seen a terry cloth brooks brothers polo before there's the logo down there that's a cool one you don't see a lot of terry cloth shirts in general Plus J, Jill Sander, German designer. Is that any good? Here's a Yeti t-shirt. Yeti's such a, like a big brand right now. People pay like $500 for a cooler. I say just drink your beer faster. You don't need a cooler that's $500. <laughs> here's, a, here's a Carhartt that's in rough shape. I pick up a lot of Carhartt, but a t-shirt in rough shape. I'm gonna pass on that. And it, in order to be t-shirt price, it has to say T on the tag. Other, so it's $4.99 instead. I think the t-shirts are like two bucks. Drink it faster, that's right, Mary. Mary's in the house, hope you're doing well. So uh, personal best says Jill Sander is expensive. Cool, we'll look that one up. If you're watching this on YouTube later, you'll see the the co sold comps for that item up on the screen. Van Sport. I don't know this brand. St. Vincent 
college. I don't think that's anything. It's a good size. It's got a nice feel to it. Nice golf pole, van sport. I don't. I don't think that's worth anything. I don't think that uh, that logo is going to help. Where do you sell these? I sell on uh, eBay. eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Mercari. Sorry. Another Terry Claw shirt. I just got done saying that you never. I mean, I can't remember the last time I found a Terry Claw shirt. Two in a row. I don't know this brand. Marine layer. It's a Terry Cloth, and right behind it, another Terry Cloth. What in the world is going on here? It is Terry Cloth fan heaven in here. Another Brooks Brothers Terry Cloth polo. Same as the last one. It's got the logo down at the bottom here. Cool piece. We'll pay $4.99 for that. I mean, if I had to guess, that's probably uh, an easy $20 to $25, probably closer to $25 plus shipping. Marine layer is great. Okay, cool. We'll throw that Terry Marine layer. I think that's a new brand for me. Oh, okay. Kind of cool little stripe on the pocket there. Terry Cloth, band sport around 10 to 12. Thank you for looking that up, Jen. Appreciate you. Twice in one day with Jen. Pick up the Marine layer. I got you, Flippin' Foresters. Thanks for having my back. I love my chat. Love our little community here. It's not so little anymore. King size, I do pick up a, uh, some king size. I sold the king size yesterday. Those of you who were in the morning live yesterday saw our king size go out the door. Very similar king size I sold, but it was a 3XL tall. This is just an XL tall. I want to pick it up. I'm going to leave it behind. Um, I usually pick up the really, really big stuff. I like that pattern, though, I will say. I wish that was a bigger size. Marine Layer Comp is 40 bucks. Marine Layer is a San Francisco brand. See, look at all these people in the chat that know a, a thousand times more than me. But honestly, though, we're a lot... Nobody knows all the brands. We're a lot smarter together. And I guess we just demonstrated right there, A, the value of community, but B, the value of, like, knowing, like, hey, wait a minute, this is Terry Cloth. I've never heard of this brand before. It feels quality. I want to take a second to look it up or at least ask the followers to look it up. So there is an art to this, too, you know, kind of just... It just comes with time and experience. You feel something quality, you don't recognize it, look it up. Anyone can do that. Found a king size 6L shirt in Salem, Virginia two days ago. Nice job, Stan. Nice job, Jen. I don't know why I called you Stan. I was reading your last name, too. Here's a Peter Moir cotton polo shirt. Peter Moir is... The synthetics are best. Actually, the non-stained ones are even better. We'll put that one back. We got a pretty good rack going on here with that, a new brand, that marine layer. We got some terry cloth from this rack. All it takes is one rack with some fresh inventory to turn things around. I think we're running in the double digits now for items in the cart. I think the record for the store of 29 items going home. It's in sight, it's possible. You got a lot of work to do. I think it's still possible. I missed another marine layer before the first Brooks Brothers. Rachel, I'm gonna have to, if that's true, which I believe it's true, I'm gonna have to send you, I'm gonna have to Venmo you. <laughs> Here's an Orvis. Oh gosh, that's a trash. I just listed one of these yesterday. But look how trash that is, who donates that? That's gross. We'll go check for that uh, for that marine layer. Thank you, Angie. What Angie's Wildlife? What's your channel about, Angie? That sounds cool. Cool screen name for sure. Yes, you did miss a marine layer. Okay, I'll go check it out. Appreciate y'all. Just waiting for uh, the aisle to clear behind me so I have some room to operate. Another Carhartt T-shirt. This one's in better shape than the last one. It's still not in great, great shape, and it's not going to be T-shirt price because it doesn't have the T on it. They're going to charge me five bucks. So I'm going to pass on it. There's another Carhartt T-shirt right behind it. I'm going to pass on that too. Same reason. It's just going to be too much money to make a profit on. Somebody else will be psyched to find a Carhartt T-shirt for five bucks. They'll take it home. They'll rock that thing. It won't rock it today. It's freaking cold here in Asheville. 36 degrees, windy is all get out. I promise I'm going to go back and get that marine layer. Chill out. Chill out. Thank you, Barfly. Appreciate the follow. You're mean. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Now, there's a funny screen name. I like that one. 
about the creative screen names people have on here. Here's a Lacoste. It's plain. It's in okay-ish. Yeah, it's a little bit ratty. I'm going to pass on it. Morgan Murray, thank you for the follow. So another marine layer back here. Oh, just like that. There it is. Was this the one or was there more? So this one doesn't, this one isn't as cool. It's not that terry cloth, but a really nice pattern. Contrast collar, nice stripe across it. Kind of got a 90s vibe to it. Oh, pardon me, sir. I'll get this card out of your way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So what did I weave off? That's the one I would pick it up. Cool. Appreciate you, huh? This has been a crazy rack. If you're just joining and you missed this rack, you're going to want to watch the the full video. It's going to go up on YouTube tomorrow morning. I have Friday's live thrift up. I posted that yesterday. That's up on YouTube if you want to check out the YouTube and subscribe. Uh, you can click on my name up above and it's the first link up on my website. It will bring you right to my most recent YouTube video. And tomorrow that link will go right to my to this today's YouTube video or today's live thrift. Yeah, it just it's funny. I walked in here, there was like it was like all the staff looked at me because there was nobody else really in here. It was like two shoppers and like six staff members. That ratio has changed. So nothing fancy here. The first thing we check on these polo. Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. The first thing we check is these uh, V's down at the bottom because more often than not they're ripped just like that one is. So that's the first thing I check because it's the most commonly, most common issue. Of course, you can see the collar wear pretty quickly too. But So that one's going back. It's a borderline pickup anyway in good condition. In rough condition, it's a pass. What the heck is that? Young Maven? Never heard of that brand before. It's just a t-shirt and it's in rough shape, but have you heard of that brand? No 